Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some donuts, and enjoy this ASMR. Ugh. God dang it, Mokes! You keep beating me in this game! We will always beat you, number seven! Soon we will snuzzle you to death and become the next number seven! You... <laughs> I don't think anybody would take you seriously, Mokes. Imagine Hanako as a bunny. I mean, there was a girl, and then there, there's a boy. Hanako can be anything. Yeah, yeah, only in your dreams, you little Mokes. You better not mess with us. We will soon snuzzle you to death, number seven. Huh? Oh, someone's coming in. Could either be little Daikon or... Uh oh! Hey, listener. How's it going? I wasn't expecting to see you today. Is there anything you need? Pardon? You just want company? Oh, of course. Well, you can sit beside me. I can pull out a chair for you, or, um... Hmm. Uh, there's sadly no chairs in here, but, uh... How about you sit right here on beside the window? Mm-hmm. Uh, little Mokes, maybe you should leave us be. We will, if you give us more candy, number seven. <sighs> Fine. This is the last one for now. Thank you, number seven. Now that they're gone, how is my little baby girl doing today? Did you sleep well? Oh, that's wonderful. No nightmares this time, right? Oh, that's wonderful. I hope you slept well. Did you get eight hours of sleep? Or nine? Okay, that's good. Just don't want you to stay up too late. Usually you'd be reading scary stories and that'll give you nightmares. Hopefully the boogeyman wasn't in there. Or any s monsters. Oh, good. How's your parents? <laughs> okay, nothing bad, right? That's wonderful. Well, <laughs> um, what about homework? Did you turn them in? <laughs> good girl! I think this good girl needs some head pats. <laughs> You're such a good girl, listener. Hmm? Oh, you didn't have a good morning? Was it back at home or here? Oh, at the bus. What happened? Oh, you brought your plushie to school? Oh, listener, you know you're not supposed to bring, like, plushies to school. It's kind of against the school policy. I understand it's your safe zone and your comfort plushie, but you should have just left it at home, sweetie. Someone stole it. Oh, no. Do you know what the person looked like? Uh-huh. Tall. Color of hair. Eyes. Okay. Maybe when you're in class or during lunchtime, I can try finding him for you and find that plushie of yours. Which plushie was it, sweetie? Oh, it's Cinnamon Roll. From Hello Kitty, right? Well, that's going to be easy to find. Don't worry, I will find Cinnamon Roll for you. Why, of course, baby girl. I mean, wasn't it your friend that gave it to you that sadly passed? Oh, okay. I'm sorry that I brought, brought it up. It's just, that is very sweet. The last gift that someone gave you before they went away. But hey, I bet their ghosts are right beside you no matter what. 
making sure that you're okay and safe. <laughs> I bet. I mean, I'm a ghost and you can see me. <laughs> oh yeah, Hanako is always right. Don't worry, I'll still find it. Of course I know what it looks like. I think it was one time he brought it for, like, p pajama day. It was a really cute plushie. Mm-hmm. Pardon? Of course, listener. You can hug me. Well, technically I'm a ghost, but, uh... Here. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, my poor listener. I was getting picked on. Is it a guy or a girl? Hmm, I see. You know, I don't understand why they have to pick on you. I understand what you're going through, and you told me about your past. What I wanted to say is, you never deserved it. I'm sorry your innocence were taken away at such a young age, and what those people did to you was extremely horrible. I just couldn't understand what a human being can do to another person, especially a child like you. But I would always love you. Even if, if I was alive, I'd always make sure you're okay and comfort you just like this. I'd still love you, listener. Of course. If I was alive, I would never leave your side. I just want you to be safe and always bring smiles to you. Always treat you like what you were back then. I want to heal your heart. I really mean it, listener. Healing that sweet childish heart of yours with love, kindness. If only I could kiss you. Well, you know where. Your cheek, your nose, your forehead. <laughs> you can feel me boop your nose too. Hmm, let's test it. Boop. Did you feel that? Oh, well, as a ghost, you may not feel it, but it's there. <laughs> oh, I love you too, baby girl, with all my heart. And my heart, even though it's dead, will never change, especially for you. <laughs> oh, looks like the bell's gonna ring. Is that what you want to do before going to class is just see me? Oh, I really appreciated it. Well, I'll see you at lunch if you want. It could be at the rooftop or, I don't know, outside in the garden or here in the bathroom. I'll let you choose, baby girl. I want you to be in a place where it's more comfortable for you. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you want me to fly to you to class or stay beside you? Again, I'll still find your cinnamon roll plushie when you're gone, okay? Okay. Have a wonderful day at your first class, baby girl. Be safe and get smart. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Now then, now I gotta find the bastard that stole my baby girl's cinnamon roll.